Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Eisenhower Eagle Football Review. I'm Tim Meyer with Coach Chris Smith. And Coach, tonight uh, you had a big victory because your team really responded well after that loss last week. Yeah, you know, we talked about playing through adversity and, uh, you know, our offense struggling a little bit. We knew that, you know, it was just little things that we had to tweak and work out. And the kids really responded well this week in practice. We had a great week of practice and, uh, you know, it carried over to the game. And we got to just continue to do that. This is a this is a great thing to go back and build upon. So um, we were excited about how all three phases of the game work today. You also surprised the fans out there. You put in uh, number 39, Joe Metz, and he responded well with 10 carries, 80 yards, and a touchdown. Right, Joe Metz has been, he did it in the preseason for us. And uh, he's been struggling uh, understanding the offense in the last few weeks. But, um, you know, we went with him and uh, made some things simple for him. And he's a great ball carrier. You know, he does the things that we need to do in that position. And he's tough. He runs hard. And he, and he's 5'9", 190 pounds. He's a little house out he's, there. He's a wrestler, and he takes care of the football. And that's what we need in that position. And, and you got Nick ribbing back, and it really showed. And Jake Bradshaw had another target to go to. Right. You know, and I thought Nick ribbing was outstanding. It's great to have a great weapon like him back. But Jake Bradshaw, uh, we knew we had to get the ball you know, out into our receivers' hands. We got great receivers that can catch the ball. We got big physical receivers on the outside. And uh, Jake's really done a great job, you know, all year in practice throwing the football. But uh, we just haven't really opened up that part of the offense. And today was, you know, a good start. You saw uh, at the beginning when uh, when Gross Point North picked off that pass, ran it back for a touchdown, and it was 6 nothing Gross Point. Did you have any in your mind, like anything you're thinking, maybe, oh boy, here we go again. No, it was it was stay calm. I stay. I wanted to stay calm, show the kids were calm, and uh, we talked about in the locker room pregame adversity, playing through adversity. So that was one of the things that uh, we talked to the kids about all week, playing through adversity, sticking together as a team. Things are going to happen that don't go your way, and the key is how do you respond to it. So it was a perfect, actually a perfect time. Uh, if we were going to make a mistake right there because it was fresh in the kids' minds. And uh, I thought the kids came out the field very calm and, and just continued to execute the game plan. You got a good good play out of the middle linebacker, uh, both uh, uh, Jake Corey and, uh, and, and Cody Golf. Right. They're both outstanding. We wrote, we've been rotating them all year. Um, you know, they give us different uh, aspects. And they, they play a little bit different, but um, both are physical. And, you know, golf is, you know, that family name, golf. We've got a lot of great golfs around here playing football for us. So um, he's going to be another one. So next week uh, you have Dakota. Um, your thoughts about them? We, we talked a little bit about it. They're a perennial rival every year. They always seem to have a pretty good team. Well, Dakota has, you know, been Mac Red champions the last few years. Haven't lost in our league. Um, until somebody knocks them off, they're the champions. So we know we're going to go into a, a, a face a very tough football team, but it's not about what they're doing. I think just for us, it's about us getting better, continuing to improve, and uh, go in there and compete with them. Well, best of luck next week, and let's bring back a big Eisenhower victory. Okay, thank you. All right. And we're here with Eisenhower's offensive star of the game, Joe Metz. And Joe, uh, 10 carry, 79 yards, uh, and a touchdown tonight. Uh, you finally got your chance to play. Yeah, I finally did. I've been putting in a lot of work at practice. Happy I finally got to show on the field. Uh, some of those quick hitters that you you got, uh, you had a lot of running room there. Your offensive line did a fine job, but did that kind of surprise you? What, you? what were you thinking when you saw those holes? No, I'm pretty confident in my line. They've been working hard all year. I want to thank them for opening those holes. Coach told us before the game that he made some changes and tweaked a little bit on the offense. Uh, what do you think the difference was tonight? Uh, we came in with a better bit game plan and we stuck with it and that's what uh, helped us out the entire game. When uh, when, when Jake uh, got that pass picked off and Gross Point North scored a touchdown, uh, what was going through you guys' mind as you're trailing six nothing? Keep your head up, we gotta keep working, we're gonna win this game. Stay confident, stick to the game plan. Well next week you got a big game against Dakota and they're uh, they're always tough every year, a big rival of Eisenhower's. Uh, do you know anything about them? It's Dakota week baby. All right, a few folks you want to say hello to out there. I want to thank my parents and my grandfather for coming to every game, and I also want to thank my coaches. Eisenhower's defensive star of the game, Robert Hawk, and you got to start tonight, Robert, again, uh, but uh, you seem to be able to plug up that middle pretty well. Yep. Uh, it was, I mean, it's the same thing every time. It's, it's uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's. 
Oh, he was for a while. Their quarterback was pretty tough uh, runner. He's kind of elusive, and uh, and then they tried running up the middle. You guys stuffed them down. Yeah, I mean their their O line wasn't very strong. Uh, our our D line's just kill, been killing it the last couple of weeks, and uh, we made some changes, but it's still just as good as it's ever been. How about there at the uh, beginning of the game? They're they're leading six nothing before you guys even have a chance to stop them, and then when they come on their next drive, you stop them. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I didn't. I was wasn't on the field very much. I felt like I wasn't even on the field. Uh, offense was on the field a lot of the game, and uh, they never even scored on us. I mean, the only times they scored was on offense, and they picked sixes. I mean, I thought we had a great game on defense. It's not really a defense pitch. A shutout tonight, really. <laughs> yeah, shutout. Should have been a goose egg. How about Jay Corey came in the middle and uh, gave you guys some good minutes there at middle linebacker? Yeah, Jay Corey's been killing it too. Uh, him and uh, Cody Goff and. Uh, Osage, Sherry, I mean, they're, they're our linebackers are fantastic this year. You got Dakota next week. Uh, any thoughts about that? So excited. All right, let's go. I'm, I'm so excited. I can't wait. You know anything about him? I mean, I, I haven't. we haven't watched film yet on him, but we're, this week's going to be intense. It's going to be a lot of studying, and we're, we're going to take it very seriously. Well, I know you want to say hello to some folks out there, so I'll give you that chance right now. Yeah, uh, hi, Mom, Dad, Sister, Caitlin, uh, Grandparents. Uh, <laughs> just giving you the shout out. We'll be back with game highlights after this. Hi, my name is Doug Wozniak. I'm a licensed Michigan attorney, but I'm also licensed as a Michigan real estate broker. If you have any questions concerning real estate, particularly new building construction, easements, boundary disputes, uh, anything at all, please give me a call. 586-781-9190. Esplendido Mexican Cuisine. Esplendido serves time-tested and taste-but-approved Mexican cuisine that's often copied but never duplicated. Of course, you can still get that famous Esplendido pizza. Dine in or carry out. Almost 30 years of serving great meals to good friends. Esplendido, good food, spirits, and celebration. Call 586-739-1070. We thought there was no better way to do that than to uh, put on the striped shirt and pick up a whistle and stop complaining about the officials and, and go do something about it. And there was guys that were nice enough to do it and volunteer their time when I was a kid coming through school, so I'm just paying it forward. Initially, I got into officiating because I was a coach and I wanted to learn more about our sport. Now I officiate because I want to make a difference. You can be a referee. The Eisenhower Eagles look to rebound from their home opening loss to Lance Cruz North with a victory over the 2-1 Gross Point North Norseman. To begin the game, Gross Point North picked up a quick first down in the legs of their quarterback, number 10, Daniel Robinson. The Eagles stopped the Norseman drive on this nice play by number 16, Jack Proventure. When Eisenhower got the ball, they came out firing as Jake Bradshaw hits number five, Riley Miller, good for 20 yards. But Gross Point North's number five, Addison Paris James, steps in front of this Jake Bradshaw pass and takes it 55 yards to the end zone for a touchdown. The extra point was no good, but Gross Point led it six to nothing. The Eagle offense remained calm and stayed with their game plan. Number 39, Joe Metz, bursts through a big hole in the line, and it's good for 38 yards and an Eagle first down. That Metz run would lead to this 12-yard pass from Jake Bratcher to Logan Friedel, who does a good job getting his feet down inbounds for a great catch and a score. The Eagles lead it now 7-6 as the extra point was good. The Eagles number 75, Robert Hawk, introduces himself to the Gross Point North quarterback. Eisenhower began the second quarter with this nifty run by quarterback Jake Bradshaw. Eisenhower began the second quarter with this play, gaining eight yards. 
Number 14, Jake Bradshaw keeps the ball on the next play and gets 15 yards on this nifty run. And on the very next play, Jake Bradshaw makes a perfect pitch to number 27, Andrew Sokowski, who has clear sailing into the end zone. Extra point was good, and Eisenhower now led 14 to six. On Gross Point North's next drive, they move deep into Eisenhower Eagle territory, and on third down, quarterback Daniel Robinson was flushed out of the pocket. Great coverage by the Eagle secondary. He was forced to throw the ball away and was called for an intentional grounding penalty, which meant the Norsemen were forced to punt. With less than two minutes left to play in the first half, the Eagles got the ball back. Jake Bradshaw hits number 33, Nick Ribbing, for a big gainer. With nobody open, Bradshaw keeps the ball and gains good yardage into Gross Point North territory. The Eagles then call timeout. Then Jake Bradshaw hits Nick Ribbing, who takes this pass 27 yards, has the presence of mind to get the ball into the middle of the field, and calls timeout with 2.6 seconds left in the half. Eisenhower kicker number 97, Robert Smith, comes on and kicks this 29-yard field goal to end the first half. Score at halftime, Eisenhower 17, Gross Point North 6. To begin the second half, the Eagles do a good job of setting up this screen play. Kadari Johnson scampers 30 yards into Gross Point North territory for a big Eagle first down. The Eagle drive would stall, and Robert Smith comes on and kicks this 42-yard field goal. But Gross Point North were penalized on the play. Ike accepts the penalty and continues their drive. And on third and two, Jake Bradshaw tufts his way into the end zone, and the Eisenhower Eagles now led 24-6. Eagles fall off the Norseman wagon on their next drive as they fumble. It's recovered by the Eagles, Jacob Friedel, and it's first and ten Eisenhower. Then Joe Metz, who would have 80 yards on 10 carries in the night, breaks three tackles and gets into the end zone for another Eagle score, and Ike leads it 31 to six. On the next Norseman drive, things got worse. Andrew Sukowski jumps the route and intercepts this Robinson pass, and takes it 36 yards to the house. The extra point was good, and the Eagle lead now was 32 points at 38 to six. Near the end of the third quarter, Eisenhower was driving deep into Northman territory when Latorius Greer steps in front of his Bradshaw pass and takes it 95 yards for the Gross Point North touchdown. Gross Point North decides to go for two after the touchdown. Jake Corey says no. In the fourth quarter on third and eight, Bradshaw hits Logan Friedel for this Eagle first down. The Eagles then call on their speed merchant, number one, Nick Osich. 
takes the handoff and gets 50 yards for an eagle score. The extra point was good and it was 45 to 12 Eisenhower. The Eagles continue their defensive intensity in the fourth quarter. And despite this tip pass, the Eagles defense rose to the occasion. Eisenhower stopped Gross Point North from scoring. Number 44, Cody Goff, makes the tackle here. Gets a little help from his friends. As in our Eagles bounce back from their tough loss last week and defeat the Gross Point North Norseman by a score of 45 to 12. Tim Meyer will be back with our special features after this. Hi, my name is Doug Wozniak. I'm a licensed Michigan attorney, but I'm also licensed as a Michigan real estate broker. If you have any questions, concerning real estate, particularly new building construction, easements, boundary disputes, uh, anything at all, please give me a call, 586-781-9190. Esplendido Mexican Cuisine. Esplendido serves time-tested and taste bud approved Mexican cuisine that's often copied but never duplicated. Of course, you can still get that famous Esplendido pizza. Dine in or carry out. Almost 30 years of serving great meals to good friends. Esplendido, good food, spirits, and celebration. Call 586-739-1070. High school football game night is a unique experience, uniting a community in so many ways and showcasing other school activities. This grand setting helps kids learn life skills and build lifetime relationships in the safest environment ever, where teacher coaches, equipment, rules, and safety protocols minimize risks. It's a true celebration of participation. Support your local school and its young people who enjoy this privilege. Folks, ever wonder what it's like to be on the sidelines? Well, now's your chance. Our next segment will feature Coach Chris Smith and the Eisenhower Eagles from the sidelines. Helmets on! All right, let's go, bring it in! We are we are we are Line it up, let's go. Defense first. Defense first. Hey, they might go on top of the first. Stay in our lanes here. There we go. It's a four, three yard line. Good hit. Good tackling. Good tackling. What do we got? What do we got? Spike two. Oh, we're straight. What are we doing? Holding. 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 There we go. Don't hit him. Get Friedel out! Get out! This is wide open. This is wide open. This is wide open. All day. I saw that. Hey, they're not covering. Hey, John, same thing. They're not covering it right. They're not covering it. They're not lining up right. They're not lining up right. You can run that again. Watch it count. Punt return. Don't tell him not to jump. Missile, missile. Wait, 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 wait. 
Hunter's number eight. Hunter's number eight. He's out there. He's out there. Go, go, go. Missile, missile, missile. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. Four out and four out. Go, Frito. Nice job, nice job. Help him up. Good job, Frito. Nice job, Frito. Linebackers, if he comes inside hard, it's still. Yeah, so it's pepper. I'm reading that. I'm reading off right. the hand up. Right, right. Okay, here we go. Let's go. If they want to play man to man, let's take advantage of our big guys. Or that. Or that. Hey, that's the way, Jake. Great job. Good blocking. Nice job, Ski. Nice job, Kadar. There we go. Let's keep at it. Let's keep at it. Force that quarterback inside. You know what I mean? Because if he, if he gets the outside, he runs. Hey, you're, you're the end. He's the, he's the wing. He's the tackle. I'm just ripping right through here, right here. Boom! Osich! Osich! Watch that tight end! Back up, Breeze, back up. Yep. Pass! Good pass. That kid has an arm, man. <laughs> that kid throws the ball. Second heck. They ripped inside of it. I ripped those guys in. No, they don't know what no green is. I know. They don't even know how to play. But they don't know what that is. But I didn't call green, they lined up. No, I told them to rip in. Oh, you did? Number two just ran the ball. No, that was 23. I was just looking for that. It's 23 that ran the ball. Who's that kid? I've never seen 23. When the quarterback kept it? Try, yeah. yeah, we got oh double team by who? Put Tone in there. Two guard in the You put the guard in the tackle. Two. I got wide. Right? Right? I got wide. I got oh, on the inside. Oh, yeah. right. Where are my outside backers? You just need a bigger guy. You guys, you guys are out. Get out. Right? Curl! Curl! Angeli! 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 Curl! Curl! Angeli! Get in. You play nose. You play tackle. You gotta stay outside. That's gonna be a boot, a boot leg your way. You gotta stay outside, contain. You guys can't all be yelling. Stop. Hey, curl. Don't talk to refs. It is ours. Wait. Hey, is it our ball, right? Go, Jake. Time out. Time out. Time out. Leave the kicker alone. Leave the kicker alone. Come on over here, fellas. Relax. You're all right, Rob. Rob, you're all right. Do your thing, man. That was a great drive, man. Great offensive drive right there. Finish it with points. Hey, that was 50 seconds, and we went like 65 yards or something like that. So let's finish it off now. Let's go. It's 7 o'clock in the ECC room. Go, 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 go. Turn it up, turn it up. Tuck that ball in. Face mask, face mask, face mask, face mask. Great call, coach. Face mask, take it. Hey, great call, John. Yeah! Man, confidence, confidence. That's the way to take it. Hey, on that Cobra, on that Cobra, did you, who do you have? The safety? On the Cobra? You missed him, right? I tracked him. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Who made that tackle? The linebacker? linebacker. Sweet. Bubble, bubble. Get the ball! Bubble. Got no, it. they we got it. We got it. We got it. Offense. Oh. Wait, wait. Yeah. Offense. That's it. Offense. What are you waiting for? We got a tiny guy up on Logan. Go back get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, Hank.
Now get down on a three point, a four point. Come down like you cut me. Set, hit. Jump back and put your hands on them. That keeps your knees out of it. And if you fall on top of them, that's fine. I'll keep you safe on that, all right? Max, tighter, Max! Max, tighter! Stick, stick, stick! Get him! Oh! Hey, great job! Great job, D! That's the way to stop him, baby! That's the way, D! Great job in there! Great job, boys! Take a win, guys. Straight win. Great job. Great job, fellas. Hey, great job. Hey, Johnny. Great call. Good job. Good luck, fellas. Hey, good luck to you guys. Good luck, guys. Good luck, fellas. Good luck the rest of the season. Good luck. Good luck the rest of the season. Good luck the rest of the season, guys. Good luck the rest of the season, coach. Good luck the rest of the season, fellas. Good luck the rest of the season, coach. Coach, good luck the rest of the season. Great job, we got. Coach, good luck, Pops. Good game, bud. <laughs> so you guys brought the luck. Yeah, we did. Good job, Logan. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Hi. Good stuff. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> well, folks, the Eisenhower Eagles bounced back from a tough loss last week to defeat the Gross Point North Norseman. 45 to 12, and you know, uh, Coach Smith told us before the game he was going to tweak the offense, and he had some some different wrinkles he wanted to put in. They got a great performance from number 39, Joe Metz, who came in and just ran the ball tough, held on to the ball. They cut down on the penalties, which was a great thing. Uh, Jake Bratcher threw the ball well, did some great uh, judgment calls on pitching. Next week, the Eisenhower Eagles take on Dakota. So we hope that you'll be over at the uh, Macomb, Dakota Stadium uh, for that one. We they certainly could use your support. For Coach Chris Smith, I'm Tim Meyer saying we'll see you next time right here on the Eisenhower Eagle Football Review.